Hey guys, in today's video, I will teach you how you can track the conversions from your Facebook ads. Okay, so we are looking at the ads manager on Facebook and you can still find this useful even if you have never created a Facebook ad before and I've been creating Facebook ads for clients and for myself especially for the past couple of months and I've found this extremely helpful and let me just tell you that you don't really need a big budget to create an ad in Facebook okay so I recently have been promoting my rise above the noise free video series on Facebook and I wanted to track the conversions and the number of registrations per Facebook ad okay for the ad that I was running and on the left hand side you can see the conversion tracking just click on that okay so conversion tracking helps you keep track of important actions people take on your website after they click or view on your ads and this is very important because you wouldn't want to waste you know money spending an ad and not being able to track what's happening and this might be a little technical but this is very easy to set up okay if you are running Facebook ads for promoting your live events or virtual events this is very important okay so you can see as you can see here I currently have one conversion pixel and that is my registration from Facebook leads I wanted to know how many people actually register after they click on the Facebook ad okay and to be able to create a conversion pixel click on create conversion pixel here okay and just come up with a name okay and pick a category so we currently have these categories here there are checkouts okay so this is helpful for let's say sales pages registrations leads key page views adds to cart or other website conversions now what I was interested is on registration so I clicked on registrations so you will be able to know how many people registered okay so let's say FB registrations and click on create pixel okay so I don't like code but you have to deal with code so they give you this conversion pixel code here and all you need to do is copy the code below and paste it between the head and okay this has heads and slash head and the page of the website where you want to track conversions okay copy and paste this and I'll show you how I did this on uh, my squeeze page so we are here on the rise above the noise website and this is where you can find um, the area for the custom tracking header okay and you can do this on your website if you have a sign up form on the home page of your website or any squeeze page and this is the area where you normally add your Google Analytics tracking code but you can simply copy and paste this code okay paste it here and save it okay save the changes and what this does is that it will start okay okay now it says unverified because I haven't installed it yet okay so once you have copied and pasted this is um, the first conversion pixel that I created so you can see the pixel code here that's this is the one I added on the rise above the noise squeeze page 
and it says that it is active because it has already been added to the website now I'll show you how it works okay so here's a sample of one of the ads that I've been running for the past let's say two months okay so this particular ad was run for like three days and as you can see here you can see the performance of the ad and it says 29 total actions okay and total actions means you know this these were actions taken by people within 24 hours after they viewed or clicked on the ad and it says here that there have been 29 registrations so 29 people have registered after clicking on the ad so when they clicked on this particular Facebook ad and they were taken to the rise above the noise um, squeeze page they were able to register after that so this is a really important um, metric that you need to track okay so make sure that when you create your ad let's say I'll just show you really quick okay so here's an example so scroll down to the campaign pricing and schedule section and you can see the conversion tracking part here okay and the conversion tracking pixels are set up in your ads managers just as you know I've, I've shown you that how to do that earlier and make sure to check this box it says track conversions on my website for this ad okay so this was the tracking pixel that I created earlier this is this is the one I created a long time ago so click on that and when you choose the tracking pixel make sure that you have added that to your website and review your ad or place your order and what happens is they will start tracking the registrations on your squeeze page. So I'll see you next week for another Teach Me Tuesday video. Did you enjoy watching this video? Then be sure to grab your free social media kit at socialmediamarketinggirl.com and I will send you these freebies right away. My free video series plus action guide, my social media marketing workbook, a subscription to my weekly evening smart social wherein I share exclusive social media to do items sent to your inbox every Tuesday. So be sure to enter your name and email at socialmediamarketinggirl.com.